Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So, today we are going to be doing the dino look. Yes, I'm a little dinosaur. It kind of feels like a little bit of a snake, but you know, dinosaurs are reptiles, so I think it goes very well. This is the look that I came up with. I'm going to show you guys get ready video with me. And we're going to have a lot of fun. So let's get started. First, shower. Time to prep your face using toner, facial medicines, moisturizers, and a face roller. Now you're all done. We're going to get dressed into our costume. I'm wearing a long sleeve green shirt and some leggings. Time to complete the face. Use an ice pack for any swelling under the eye bags. Now we're going to prep the hair. Yeah, look at that. Here's what I use before I do anything with my hair. I use Head & Shoulders Instant Soothing Elixir and Head & Shoulders Daily Moisture Scalp Cream onto my scalp to help prevent with dandruff and dryness onto my scalp. Once you're done separating your hair into sections and putting that cream all over your head, massage it in for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Looking cute. Now we can blow dry our hair. I will link this one down below in the descriptions. Now we're ready to iron. Yes. We're going to separate into sections and we're going to curl. Here we go. Letting it heat up. Do this really slowly and just take your time. There you go. Once it's done curling, I like to brush it out just a little bit and then fluff it out with my fingers so it's not so flat on top and it has a little bit of dimension. Up next, we're going to start with our face. Look how cute. Hey, FaceTime. <laughs> we're starting off with primer. Yes, primer. Get that all into your skin. Now we're color correcting. Green is for red spots, so get that all onto any areas that have any redness. Now I'm using orange for any dark spots under the eyes. Now we're going to blend that out. Now we're using a little bit of the yellow on this infected pimple because for some odd reason the green just made it more purple so I'm using the yellow to try to neutralize that color. It kind of worked. Now it's time for my secret weapon, some tape. Tape up the corner of your eyes so we can get that crisp line for our eyeshadow. time for some concealer put a little bit onto your eyelid so we can give a base for our eyeshadow and then blend that out with any sponge that you have we're using a new palette meant to be yes ma'am the color ice cold we're gonna put it all over the lid kind of like the blue eyeshadows in the early 2000s <laughs> I am not kidding, just put it everywhere, all over the lid. It's gonna be a mess, but there is a plan. Just stay with me. <laughs> now we're going in with the color Chill Factor, and we're gonna put that on the outer corner of the lid where the tape is. You can even go over the tape. Make sure to blend really, really good. Using color minty, we're going to crease the color with a sponge brush onto our inner lid. as much color as you can on using makeup remover and a q-tip we're going to clean up our inner corners and the cut crease
Now we're using the Misunderstood palette. Yay! Using Color Facile, we're going to use our sponge brush to pack in the dark green shimmery color into the outer corner. For our water lines, we're going to use a black eyeliner pencil. This one's a dual one that I got from Ulta Beauty as a sample. Liquid liner time. Get that sharp corner in, looking fierce. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Now use any mascara that you own. Put that onto your upper lids first. Eyelash curl your upper lid. I'm using a pair of eyelashes that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below. Look how fabulous they are. Ooh, looking fierce, so cute. Okay, up next, eyebrows. First, we're gonna remove the tape. Ooh, look at those sharp corners. Now we're going to brush out our eyebrows with a brow gel. I got this one as a sample from Ulta Beauty. Now using the NYX Ultimate Palette, I'm using this green color in the corner. They don't have any names, but I'm going to use this one to help with my eyebrows. I'm going to use it on the inner corner of my eyebrows. Look at that. So vibrant, so green. Oh, perfect. For the outer corner of my eyebrow, I'm going back in with Chill Factor to darken it up. Make sure to blend both colors. After you're done packing in those colors, I'm using concealer to shape my eyebrows using a small brush in order to not make them look so bulky and, you know, very blotchy. Use a sponge to blend the concealer. Now using my new favorite foundation, CC Plus, I'm patting down the foundation into my skin. Now using concealer, you're going to put that onto your T-zone and blend it out with your foundation. I'm using setting powder to set my foundation and concealer in. This was honestly a lot harder than it looks. I didn't realize that my eyelashes would be such an inconvenience with this scale attempt that I was doing. I would definitely recommend doing those last. I'm going in first with the color green from the Ultimate Palette and then doing the shadow area with the chill factor from mid to b palette those colors came out really good together just the difficulty of putting the headpiece over my head without you know destroying my eye makeup was really hard just try to get somebody to help you do this honestly please <laughs> i got i managed but just yeah have someone help you <laughs> put some definition into the scales we're going in with mint tea and putting it on the inner part of the scale area to brighten it up using facile we're going to put it on the darker areas of the scales
time for highlight. We're going in with the color Mojito Mommy. We're going to put that on the tip of the nose, on our bridge, on the inner corner of our eyelids, our cheekbones, and then what I like to use it for is on my upper lip. So it gives me a little bit more shine on my T-zone area. For blush, I'm using a peach color to go underneath the scales and underneath my nose. Time for lipstick. This lipstick is in the shade Raven. I honestly don't remember where I got it. I think it was Amazon. I will link it down below if I can find it. But you can definitely use any type of black lipstick that you have or own. Now for the middle of my lips, I'm using this matte blue lip gloss thing that I found as well, and I'm putting that in the middle of my lips. For a little more oomph, we're using mint tea again, and we're dabbing that onto our lips to give it a little bit more va va voom. Pack on as much of the mint tea as you can in order to try to give the illusion of green lipstick. I actually have a surprise for you guys, so be ready for the actual costume! Ah! <laughs> so this is my outfit for in the house to chill, and then this is my Halloween outfit. Um, Alright! Ah! <laughs> this is my actual Halloween costume! Yeah. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Halloween. I love you guys. Be safe and I love you. Bye.